Welcome back to Pet Talk. You are looking at a photo of little Scotty, a fabulous corgi, taken just as he was about to be released after having heart surgery. That's right, folks. Believe it or not, little Scotty now has a pacemaker ticking inside. Here he is live and in person and doing just great. He's here with his mom, Mary Carroll from Westport, and his cardiologist, Dr. Mandy Clement from the Cornell University Veterinarian Specialist located right next door to us in Stanford. And by the way, they are open 24-7. This is so exciting. Unbelievable. I'm going to start with you first, doctor, because I had no idea, first of all, that animals got pacemakers, and second of all, that there was a specialty of a cardiologist in veterinary medicine. Definitely. Um, the specialty of cardiology has grown over the last um, 10 years uh, at a pretty rapid speed, and we are busy. Um, so one of the things that we do is implant permanent pacemakers for dogs and cats that have a very, very low heart rate. And it's implanted for much the same reason why a pacemaker would be implanted in a human. Wow. Um, it's not an uncommon procedure, so. I, I understand hundreds. Uh, yes. Uh, there are hundreds of surgeries a year. I had no idea. And when you look at little Scotty, you think he just looks so healthy. Um, Mom, I want to ask you, what happened? How did you know that there was an issue with his heart? He was losing energy. I mean, this, this is a, a really active dog. And when I would call him, he would barely walk to me. And then one day he didn't eat. And this breed loves to eat. <laughs> and so I knew right away something was wrong. And before I could get him to my regular vet, he fainted. And so I rushed him to the vet. The vet ran a quick EKG and said, you need to get him to Cornell right away. Wow. And they were waiting for me when I got there. So are these common symptoms, doctor? Fainting. Fainting is, can commonly be due to cardiac disease, whether in this case it was due to a low heart rate. It can also be due to congestive heart failure or a poor pump. The, the heart may not be pumping as, it, as normally as it should. So Scotty fainted, and um, his family veterinarian diagnosed a very low heart rate and an abnormal rhythm. Right. He mm -hmm. presented to our emergency services, and he fainted more um, wow. at, in our hospital. Uh. And so we, we did some basic diagnostic tests that day, and we actually implanted the pacemaker later on that day. Unbelievable. So it's an extremely rewarding surgery. Uh, it's minimally invasive. We don't have to enter the chest or the heart directly. Uh, he had two small incisions on his neck, one here near the jugular vein and one on the back of his neck. And from there, I can implant the pacemaker into his heart. Um, it's not a very long procedure. And as soon as he's awake from anesthesia, he has a higher heart rate. He feels much better. He's no longer fainting. And he has okay. good blood flow to be able to walk and play and, and be his normal self. Unbelievable. Now you have brought an example of a pacemaker. So uh, This is a, a similar setup to what um, Scotty has. This is an actual pacemaker generator okay. and it's a computer and it, it's identical to what's implanted in human beings. All of the pacemakers that we implant are brand new but they are uh, produced for humans so this actually connects to um, the lead and this is the portion that goes into his heart. So this gets fed down the jugular vein and into his heart, and this will then make contact with the muscle itself. I can screw in this piece into the computer, um, and from here, I can now use a remote control and basically talk to the computer and, and tell it what heart rate I'd like for Scotty and different parameters to make it as physiologic and normal as possible. Unbelievable. Again, I'm just absolutely amazed. I know you also did an English bulldog, Sherman. I did. He's as cute as cute can yes. be, and he seems fine too. He's doing wonderful. He came in for not wanting to go up the stairs. He was sort of winded, and now he's, he's doing great. He's got lots of energy. His owners report he's like a new dog. I know you also had a case with Lucky. Lucky he was a little bit different than Scotty. Uh, Lucky was a rescue dog from Georgia and he had very, very bad heartworm infestation. Um, so we actually removed, I removed 20 heartworms from his heart directly. Yikes. Again, through a small incision in the jugular vein, uh, but it was an emergency procedure because he wasn't doing well and uh, we removed heartworms directly. This is so interesting, doctor. If folks want to get in touch with you, uh, where can they find you? Uh, the Cornell University Veterinary Specialist is located in Stanford. Uh, we're off of 95, very convenient. You can reach us at our email cardiology at cvs.org and you can call us anytime we have 
24-7 emergency care, as you can see with Scotty oh, coming yeah. into our emergency service first, and we have criticalists there seven days a week to help for emergencies, and I can be there when needed for cardiac emergencies. Thank you so much for being here, both of you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely fascinating. We'll be right back.